time for Cooking with Caroline. Hello friends, today we are going to make a special salad. I know a lot of you really love ramen noodles and so this is a healthier take on using your ramen. So what we're gonna start with are two packages of ramen noodles. It doesn't matter what flavor because you're not gonna even use the flavor packet. We're just gonna throw that away. Or you could save it for another day when you want more ramen flavor. We're gonna take our two packages and crunch them up. This is the fun part. Get out any anger issues that you may have at the moment on your ramen. Crunch it all up. And we are gonna mix that ramen with some very healthy almonds. We're gonna put this all on a baking sheet with some parchment paper underneath. If you don't have parchment paper, you can just spray it with cooking spray so that it doesn't stick to your pan. I think I got everybody crunched up enough. And now I'm gonna put it in the oven, 415 degrees, an odd number, um, for about five minutes. You don't want it to burn, you just want it to start to get brown. Right until I start to smell those almonds, not till they're burning, but we want them brown. Okay, so five minutes is up, and I've got my beautiful browned ramen noodles and almonds. Okay, so now we're ready to make our dressing. We're gonna let the croutons, the ramen croutons, cool while we make a salad dressing. We start with sugar in a bowl, and I'm gonna add some canola oil. You could also use just vegetable oil or peanut oil. Just don't use a dark oil like olive. It'll be too, it'll taste too different from the Asian seasonings. Then we're gonna put in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And to add to that Asian flavor, we're putting in two tablespoons of soy sauce, way less sodium if you use the light version of soy sauce and less, way less if you are not using your packet from your ramen seasoning. And then a little bit of, you don't have to have it, but sesame oil, um, it's not one that you use for cooking, just for flavoring, really adds a nice flavor to the dressing. We're gonna whisk that up, and I really want that sugar to dissolve. So I'm gonna whisk it pretty well, and then I'm just gonna leave it for a minute so the sugar can dissolve a little more while we make the salad part. So I'll just let that sit. And now moving over to the actual salad, which is very easy. It's just a bag, a 16 ounce bag of coleslaw mix. So there's cabbage in there, there's carrots, um, and that is a great base for our Asian dressing. I'm gonna add in a lot of people's favorite, the mandarin oranges, a little bit of chopped green onion. And I chopped it up pretty fine. I don't like to have a big bite of onion when I'm eating my salad. And the last thing, definitely optional, but I highly recommend it because it has so much protein. These are edamame beans, which are actually soybeans, and it's the inside of the pod. I, some of you may have seen the pod, um, and you break out the beans from the pod. You wanna buy, you can buy frozen edamame, and you don't even have to cook it. It's already cooked. You're just gonna put, throw it in your salad. It'll thaw while you're fixing everything else. Then we're gonna go back to our dressing and make sure that that sugar is fully dissolved. So whisk a lot. Okay, I'm thinking that's pretty good. So I'm gonna pour that over my salad and then I'm going to add my ramen noodles. This is the best part. Okay, so we're just gonna toss it all together. 
And if you're not gonna eat this right away, don't put your ramen and almonds in yet. Put those on last so they stay crunchy. Otherwise, if you fix it hours ahead of time, they're gonna get a little soggy. And the best part of this is those crunchy ramen noodles. So now I'm gonna tip that all into a nice serving bowl. Sometimes that's a good idea anyway, just so that you make sure you get all the stuff at the bottom tossed in. And there we go. Your beautiful, healthy Asian ramen salad. Mm, delicious. So much better for you than ramen soup. You can get the recipe at NCS Connect.